This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town like Crown Zenit, for example. They literally have everything and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your order. This video is also sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and you can use the referral name ZAPDOSTCG to help support the channel. This video is also sponsored by yourplaymat.com. This is a platform where you're able to upload your favorite wallpaper and they turn it into a beautiful playmat. You can now have 10% off your order by clicking the link down below and they ship worldwide, so definitely check it out. Last but certainly not least is going to be dragonshield.com. Dragon Shield is the best brand to protect your beautiful cards and they have the best quality sleeves available and uh, you can of course yeah, check it out by clicking the links down below. They have sleeves, binders and deck boxes of the best quality around. I use them in every single tournament and you guys should do the exact same thing. Thank you a lot for sticking around with the commercials and enjoy the video. Peace! So we do with Zapdos TCG here. Welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel, I got daily Pokemon TCG content, so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. With that being said, we're gonna be checking out some new cards that, uh, of course, will be in our Scarlet and Violet block. The Scarlet and Violet block actually starts in one month and a half, and I'm very excited for a new era of the Pokemon TCG. Uh, the uh, Triplet Beat is another subset revealed over in Japan, uh, which is, of course, gonna be containing more Scarlet and Violet cards. It's also gonna be containing the EX uh, Pokemon of the final evolutions of the uh, Paldea region, so the uh, Scarlet and Violet game, so this is going to be super cool. We have Meow Scarada, we have Scaladurge, and we have Quaquavel. I don't know if I pronounced them correctly, but the, they are the final evolutions, and we're going to be talking about the EXs and how impactful they might be, how good they are, my first impressions, etc. Also, we're going to be seeing a, a reprint from the all the way back from Plasma Freeze. It's going to be the Super Energy Retrieval which is a very powerful card, discarding two cards from hand in order to get four basic energy cards back from the discard pile in your hand. So that's going to be super cool. We have the Luminous Energy, which is actually an Aurora Energy, but it's a little bit limited. And uh, also a Busted Stadium card, uh, allowing to get basics out of the deck. So we're going to be talking about all that in this video. If you guys are hyped for it, be sure, be sure to let me know down below. Uh, and what your favorite card is, let me know down below as well in the comment section. So let's just uh, appreciate the R cards here. We have the Sprig... Brigatito, we have the uh, Fuococo and Quaxley, they are super cool, uh, look at these artworks, they still will uh, be in the set and they will be sought after Pokemon because starting Pokemon are always sought after. Look at this, uh, doing groceries with uh, Fuococo, why the hell not, right? And Quaxley in the, uh, in the kitchen helping out a little bit here and there. Uh, they will of course release this subset over in Japan. Uh, on March 10th, so they will have, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be combined with our English uh, Scarlet and Violet set, it could be, so that means gonna be, our Scarlet and Violet set will be actually humongous, so that's gonna be containing more cards than ever before, and uh, it actually in Japan has, of course, the booster box contains 30 packs, and uh, one booster pack includes five cards there, so we're gonna be seeing 73 cards in that set, and uh, we're gonna have some of them, thanks to Antoine Brule, uh, with, of course, the translations here, we have Miao Scarada EX, so EX cards are of course um, these these small EXs, so a small, a small letter EXs, are Pokemon that still require you to evolve. So you still need to evolve your uh, Sprigatito all the way from a 70 HP fella. You could wear candy it all the way to the Meow Scarada EX and then you have a 310 HP resembling the HP on VMAX Pokemon, but they only give up two prize cards. So uh, they do require evolution. So let's say we get this fella out and ready to go. You're gonna have some uh, reminiscing of Decidueye because his bouquet magic, once during your turn, you may discard a grass energy from your hand. If you do, put three damage counters on one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So it's just like Feather Arrow back in the day where you could uh, put two damage counters, but that could choose on any target this time around, only on the bench. But uh, yeah, it only is once during your turn, but you can do that for every Meow Scarada you can get out. So imagine you can get three of these bad boys out, you're gonna be able to uh, spread nine damage counters on an ability alone. I know getting them out will be a little bit hard, we probably would need to play four rare candy, you could be playing the Mew from Celebrations to fetch out rare candies here and there, so that's going to be uh, pretty interesting. You could also rely on to uh, Irida to of course find your rare candy or Skyla, so these are actually cards you could use to fetch rare candy. 
And then there's also the uh, attack that it comes back with the uh, the scraping claws, 100 damage. And if your opponent's active Pokemon has any damage counters on it, you slap 120 damage more. So there's also a Halucha and the Scarlet and Violet base set, allowing you to put two, uh, uh, yeah, one damage counter on two of the opponent's bench Pokemon. So that could help out as well with this. We don't no longer have Zigzagoon, so you would need to damage the opponent first in order to finish them off with a Meowth Karata EX. The cool thing is that, uh, yeah, the ability could be. Uh, Utilized with a lot of cool cards like for instance Crabominable uh, etc. So I wonder how this card will develop uh, during its lifespan But it's not the best out of the bunch moving forward is Skeledurge Skeledurge is a, a fire type 340 freaking HP That's on Eternatus VMAX uh, territory right there one of the highest we've seen from an EX card giving up only two prize cards and it can swing for a whole heap of damage for only two fire energies first of all it's his first attack one fire energy 50 damage heal 30 damage from each of your pokemon wow you can heal 30 from everything wow sableye is not gonna be uh <laughs> happy to hear that so uh that's uh, already a decent attack for just one energy i suppose like turn two you wear candy attach but the better attack is the burning voice you're slapping 270 damage and you slap 10 damage less for every damage counter on this Pokemon. The cool thing is, is that we have Magma Basin in the format that allow you to set this up in one turn. So attach Magma Basin. I know you're going to have damage counters on yourself. That means you're only slapping 250, but with Choice Belt it's 280, which are the numbers to hit right now in the TCG. Will EXs over, uh, overlap? Uh, when they overlap like V-Stars and V-Maxes, will they actually have a chance? Who knows? But this damage output screams to just knock out V-Stars. I know you can get hit, but you can still have Cheryl and then attach Magma Basin if you rope into something else. So uh, it's going to be fantastic to try this out. I'm very big fan of uh, this kind of attack because it, uh, it's just like Victini right attachment and on the second turn rare candy evolve and then boss's orders 270 that's a huge amount of damage with low effort you can even whip the energy attachment if you go for magma base in a couple of them in your deck and you can heal off all the damage with Cheryl which is also in the format so uh, this is going to be pretty interesting to try out another thing you could try out is a uh, um, yeah, I would say this is the, the best way possible. And also if you're playing the uh, Magma Basin, you could also try out uh, a Radiant Heatran, which is also a huge powerhouse. So not too bad. I know Water is the weakness and Palkia might still be around uh, post-rotation, but uh, this is a great card. Probably the better one out of the uh, the Evolution EXs. Next is the Quaquavel, uh, who knows <laughs> what is the correct pronunciation for this one. Looks pretty cool, uh, 320 HP. Two retreat cost and its first attack is switch this Pokemon, uh, switch one of your bench Pokemon, then your opponents switch your switch their active with one of their bench Pokemon. So pretty much escape rope. Uh, hit and run. Is this the best hit and run Pokemon? I don't know because right now the only Pokemon we can hit run into uh, is Miltank and Miltank does not stop damage from EX. It's only from V Pokemon. But if V uh, V stars and V maxes are still relevant. Maybe you can have a hit and run deck. Also, we don't have Robo Substitute or uh, Lily's Pokédoll, so you cannot hide behind a Pokémon uh, card that doesn't give up prize cards. You could try out Jinx, but that's also not the perfect solution. So, I don't know how to feel about this hit and run. It's also a stage two. Don't forget, you need to set this up with Rare Candy in order to get it out fast. Then a second attack, 230 damage, put two energies from this Pokémon back into your hand. The problem I see with this is that, uh, first of all, uh, Frost Mod will have been, uh, yeah, it will have rotated. That means you can no longer uh, go for like, putting them in hand, Cheryl, putting them back on. That's not going to be a thing with this card. Uh, if you want to be doing uh, this kind of an attack, ha getting the energies back in hand, you're better off utilizing something like Rapid Strike and Talion VMAX because I think this uh, attack cost is a little bit awkward because the energies both go to the hand and if they're in the hand, uh, they're not in the discard pile, which means you cannot resort to Melanie. So I'm the biggest fan I'm of uh, Skeletor Edge, which hopefully will see a lot of success. Uh, I love the uh, the new cards. It's going to be fantastic to have uh, them in our collection. Next is Oracorio, again with an ability. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from uh, your active evolution Pokemon. Once during your turn, heal 20 from... I don't know. I think this also stacks. So if you can get a couple of Oracorios out, you can heal a lot from your active. That's going to be nuts. Let's say you're having a big tanky Pokemon in the active slot. You can uh, heal that with the Oracorio. This might be actually an interesting card. I don't know if it's going to be uh, in the English translation. Cap to only you can only activate one of them, but healing 20 might be the difference of getting uh, knocked out next turn or not. 
Then we have uh, Pal Paldean Tauros and all shapes and sizes, all different types. We have the fire type, which just wants to be a Reshiram. <laughs> Who remembers Reshiram from black and white? Well, it is the same thing. The attack is Outrage, aka Raging Horns this time around. 20 damage plus 10 more for every damage counter on this Pokemon. But you're probably gonna get knocked out. Everybody knocks this guy out instantly. We're in a format where everybody slaps huge amount of damage going turn two. Movie Max, Max Miracle is already enough to KO it. You can go for Techno Blast. Yeah, it's second attack, 120 and discard an energy, but uh, they all do something similar. So here is also the uh, water type here, and this one uh, has the water dive. 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Very lackluster, and then there's this one. Uh, for three energies, 130, very, very bad. They have the Outrage deck, I suppose, so maybe in pre-releases they might be fun to play around with, but in the real competitive scene, I don't see them working out. Then we have some supporters, we have Dendra. Choose another card from your hand and put it on the bottom of the deck. So one card, put it on the bottom of the deck. And then if you do, draw cards until you have five cards in hand. So you can put a card you don't want to be seeing right now. Maybe a late game card. Put that on the bottom and then draw cards. Is it better than something like Serena, which also has the flexibility to draw cards? Uh, I don't know. Serena allows you to draw more because you can discard more. And sometimes the uh, synergy with discarding is better. Not too keen on the Dendra. Then there's a uh, Clavel. Uh, search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon each with 120 HP or less. Reveal them and put them in hand. Oh yeah, it's pretty much like uh, Professor Elm's lecture, which did see a little bit of play. If you have a setup deck and you want to have all your Pokemon on the bench instantly, this could be a way out. But it'll have to compete with Level Ball, Fog Crystal, Ultra Ball, Battle VIP Pass, and the new Stadium as uh, the setup card. So. You're probably not going to be playing a supporter for that. Definitely because you cannot play supporters on the first turn. And uh, during the days of Elm's Lecture and Bridget and all that, that was the case. You could play it on turn one. Now you cannot. Luminous Energy. Is this the energy for Luminion? You might ask you. Now this is just multi-energy in disguise. <laughs> so as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy. But provides only one energy at a time. So pretty much Rainbow Energy, Aurora Energy. But uh, if this Pokemon is attached to another, uh, yeah, is ha attached to somebody that already has a special energy attached, this card provides Carlos energy instead. So they gate capped Lugia and the Regis with this mechanic. They did want to have another Rainbow energy to put into uh, the standard format. Otherwise, Regis would be back and Lugia would be back. So they said like enough with those. Even though Lugia is still around with the single strike decks. Post rotation, as we talked about uh, earlier in uh, other content videos. So in this situation, I could see you working out in specific control decks that require like sometimes a water energy or a fighting energy to do something at least. But for like a very aggressive decks, I don't know where the uh, the colorless energy will come into play. There are cards like for instance Aerodactyl V Star that just require one fighting energy. I could see stuff working out uh, on, on that department where you make some sort of a counter box that require DTE and Luminous energy. Something I think also something like um, is it Ampoleon V requires water and double cards. I could be wrong. It could also be water water cards. But the main point is clear. You could be having some yeah flying Pikachu also the case. Luminous energy, double turbo, and off you go. So that is an option where I can see this card working out. No, what am I saying? I, I'm actually not uh, understanding this card at all because if you already have a special energy, your energy becomes colorless. So this card is super bad. It only works for a Pokemon that require one uh, random energy. Why? This rainbow energy is pretty bad when you compare it with Aurora energy and other special energies in the format. Too bad, too bad. It's at least something, but it's like a nerfed Aurora energy. Then Superior Energy Retrieval. We saw this card back in the days of black and white. Plasma days. Discard two cards from hand and then put four basic energy from your discard pal into your hand. Imagine if this was legal with uh, Blacephalon. Bazaar! <laughs> yeah, although we did have Fire Crystal, which was obviously way better. So uh, getting a lot of energies in your hand, Frost Moth will have been uh, will have been uh, gone from the format. It is rotated, so there's probably gonna be another Rain Dance kind of deck that wants to have a lot of energies. Maybe you want this to uh, snipe some more with your uh, Meow Scarada EX. I have no idea, but it's definitely gonna be seeing play at one point. And then last but not least is the Artisan Stadium. Artisan Stadium is very good. Remember Brooklyn Hill. Remember the uh, Thunder Mountain? Is it was it Thunder Mountain? Nah, no, it was. Yeah, you know what I mean. To get a Lightning Pokemon or a Dragon Pokemon from the deck, 
these are uh, cards that I always see play because uh, setting up is great. Uh, so, uh, but this time around, it's for every deck. Once during every player's turn, you can search your deck for a basic Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box. Very important, and put it on the bench. So, definitely EX cards that I want to set up here. Uh, the basic forms, you can just fetch them with this uh, stadium. So, no longer you need to find, ah, oh, I have Battle VIP Pass, it's not gonna work out. This could also work out for Lost Zone boxes, where you can just say, oh, I'm getting out of comfy, let's go. Uh, then you could also uh, Lost Vacuum that stadium to have more cards in the Lost Zone. I see this working out. And Lost Zone boxes, I see this working out. And if Reggie ever gets a better special energy and Reggie decks to, of course, get a basic Pokemon time and time again. This is a, a very great stadium and it's going to be seeing a lot of play. And uh, we'll have to wait for the future for uh, decks to just uh, have this setup. Also, Control decks will love this to have their setup. The next Evelpal or whatever Control might be playing during the post-rotation day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of the run-through of some new cards of Scarlet and Violet. If you did, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. It helps out in many ways and uh, it only takes one tiny second every time. I appreciate it a ton. Also, uh, let me know what your favorite card is. For me, it's going to be this one. Uh, what is the name again? The uh, Skeladurge uh, EX is going to be a card I'm looking forward to the most. Let me know what your favorite card is that I showcased today down below in the comment section. And uh, go check out our sponsors as well. We have PotownStore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. Use the coupon code ZABLOSTCG for 5% of your order. There is uh, YourPlayMat.com for 10% off down below if you want to create your own custom playmat. They ship worldwide. There's Card Market for European players. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Use the referral name ZABLOSTCG when checking out. And then there's uh, DragonShield.com for your sleeves, binders, and deck boxes if you're from Europe and the US. Links down below. You're helping out the channel ridiculously. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG Madness. Peace.